So today we are going to make a revision timetable for your IB or IGCSE exams so you're ready for those when those exams come around in April and May. Hello, I'm the Ginger Mathematician and I'm going to make sure that you are ready for those exams with a clear revision timetable. So the first thing is we're not going to go back to the 1960s and going to be getting a textbook out and writing the targeted revision that's going to help you pass your specific exam. Now, number one is the what. So what do you actually need to cover? Now, I've done plenty of prediction videos in the past on IB exams, IGCSE exams, both 0580 and 0607. And I've really highlighted the 10 key topics for each of the different courses. So IGCSE 0607, it's all about the graphical calculator and using that in the paper four. That's one of the most important topics. And you'll see the other topics there as well. 0580 is slightly different, so there is a sort of more emphasis on differentiation, for example. Also, being able to use a table of values and work out a specific function in intersection points. And the IB is also very graphical calculator heavy as well. And make sure you know those key topics for the AI course of the finance solver, so making sure you know how to use that, as well as the very, very statistical um, tools that are at your disposal on the calculator. Okay, so our next step is the how. So then we need to work out how we actually want to organize the revision. And this takes in two steps here. First of all, we're going to look at the logistics of it using Google Calendar. And then we're actually going to go through exactly what you're going to revise. So here's the calendar here. Okay, uh, this video is coming out on the 1st of January. So I'm going to look at Sunday, the 9th of January. So I'm going to choose one day in the weekend where I'm going to focus on my revision uh, for the exams coming up if it's IGCSE in April and May. So I'm going to click on here. So from 11 till 12. Now, actually, I'm going to reduce this down slightly. So I'm going to say 30 minutes. And we're going to call this functions. So this can be function 0607 revision. Then what we're going to do is look at the repeating. So we want to repeat this reasonably often, but not every week or so, because it's not one of the very, very important topics like GDC skills. So I'm going to put repeats every three weeks, done, and then save. And then it's in my calendar. Make sure that my phone is also synchronized to that. And then, OK, and now we're on to the second part of the how which is what are we going to do with that half an hour of revising functions? Now, what I've done here, and the link is in the description below, is I've actually taken many IGCSE 0607 questions from the last five or six years, and I've put it into one PowerPoint. So if I go through this, for example, you'll see there's a work on inverse functions, working with equations, substitution, composite functions, and so on. And so I've got all this work here, so all these exam questions at Actually in this PowerPoint, which I would then go through and try and work out. And then I would use the solutions here to actually check my answers as well. That link is also in the description below as well. And by doing this process, by actually going through these questions, one, I can highlight if I'm ready for functions and I can cope with it in the IGCSE exam. And two, if I have any areas I'm not so sure about, then I can go back and check that in my next session that I do on functions. OK, so these are my secrets to quality revision. And if you've got that yes feeling, yes, and you want to get started straight away, then do check out the video just over here. And this will go through how to revise the 0607 course in exactly two hours.